Hi, this is a Friday Amplify update, and here I'd like to demo the first incantation of the incantation. <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not summoning it. Uh, the first version of the Q and the API. Um, I've just done, made a bit of a change. I had a review with with Enrico, and we were trying the Q with number of workers equal to ten. Um, so a worker here is a, a go routine that is basically submitting jobs off to, to Backlow. So if I go to the um, the API, oops, not with a slash in the end, then I'm going to go to the queue. And this is a, a new window uh, or a new part of the API which I've got. It shows the current things that have been submitted to the queue. I'm now going to submit a big batch of 50 jobs. There you go, Brrr. let's just run through all of them. They're all working on the same CID, same job, same workflow, um, but it, uh, <laughs> it thinks it's in Welsh. So Welsh is such a crazy language that it's interpreting a CID as, uh, as Welsh. <laughs> anyway, um, you can see that uh, we've got an indication of the ID of the job. This is an Amplify ID. Um, this is just unique to Amplify. Later on, we'll sort of link that to Backlog jobs. Uh, we've got CIDs, and then it tells me it's a type of workflow. I've submitted a workflow request, and this is the name of the workflow being run. Uh, in the future, we're going to change that so all workflows run when when somebody submits a, a request. Submit time, started time, and end time. So. You can see that each time I refresh, Backlash coming back with, with updates. It's running many jobs in parallel. Uh, you can sort of click through and view details and stuff. There is an equivalent API. So if we do uh, get on that endpoint, no, nope, not there. So when we look at the queue, for example, then we've got a full on um, JSON API there as well. Um, we, we, we've just done a bit of a review or Enrico has just, just, just had a bit of a design session with, with Enrico and we're going to change some of the internals of how we define a job a little bit because at the moment it's a bit complicated and also how we are designing the, or how we are uh, allowing people to specify workflows. Um, in that case, we're going to ask people to use a flat like a consistently flat like API to specify the workflows in the config.yaml here. And it's going to look something like this. We're going to have uh, just a flat list of workflows with duplicates in. And then Amplify is going to deduplicate these when these workflows run at the same time. Um, so that's one thing. Another thing is we're going to add the ability to basically grep uh, the previous, the result of the previous job, the, the the ability to grep the standard out of the previous job to ascertain whether the subsequent job should be run. So, for example, in um, in this example, in this example, we've got uh, an image resize type job which is doing some image resizing or something, and it's looking in the previous output to see if there is anything in the standard out that says mime type image. Um, so hopefully that should allow quite a nice generic way to kind of conditionally run subsequent jobs. So that's all coming up next week. Um, and uh, yeah, that's it. Cool. Thanks. Bye.